Hey guys, and welcome to WTFN. I'm Annie. And I'm Scott. And uh, let's lead in with a, a good story, Yeah, right? this is a really good story. So yeah. there's a girl in Yaletown, Virginia. Mm -hmm. She had her bike stolen earlier last week. So she filed a police report, and you know she called her local bike shop and retrieved the serial numbers of the bike. Then a bike identical to hers was posted on Craigslist hmm. two blocks from her house. <laughs> so she called the cops, and they were like, no, nah, we're too busy. We'll get to it eventually. So she's like, you know what? I'm taking matters into my own hands. So she went down, met the guy at a McDonald's, you know, because that's where reputable people do business on <laughs> Craigslist is a McDonald's parking lot. So she looked at the bike. The serial numbers matched. So she just played dumb and said, hey, can I, you know, take this for a test ride? And he's like, yeah, sure, as long as you don't steal it. So then she just rode home. She just rode home with her bike, and uh, she uh, she apparently called him back later and said, "Hey, sorry, I stole the bike that you stole Why? from me, sir." Why? I don't know, cause she's nice, but she also reported she also looked that he was selling a whole bunch of other stolen goods on Craigslist, so she reported him to Crime Stoppers. And it's probably not a very big town. I mean, that's kind of no. a sloppy criminal. I mean, it, yeah, it, there's there can't be that many Craigslist listings. No, for especially for bikes. No, so. Good anyway, job. Good job. Good job. I'm glad that happened. Yeah. Um, now, uh, Siri appears to be talking some smack uh, mm -hmm. in terms of Google Glass. Yeah. And you, I don't have Siri on my phone because I have a 4. Yeah. But you were able to get I was some able first hand to, yeah. dish on what's going yeah, on. Yeah, so, so I have a 4S, so, so I was able to do this. Uh, so apparently, if you have Siri on your phone, you can, just, you can just push the button and go, OK, Glass. And then Siri gets all sassy and she goes, <laughs> Stop trying to strap me to your forehead. Scott, <laughs> and then oh, you right. go, okay, well that was funny. Okay, glass, and she goes, I think that glass is half empty, Scott. What? That's a burn. Whoa, sick burn. That's a sick burn. But it doesn't stop there. You go, okay, glass, you go, glass, I think you've got the wrong assistant, Scott. What? Oh, what a burn. But then, but then she saves feet. the best for last, because you go, okay, glass, she goes, I'm not glass, and I'm just fine with that. BAM! Oh! I feel like the lady doth protest too much, maybe, yeah. in this situation. Yeah. Well, um, but Google Glass also has an interesting upgrade. Yeah, so yeah. Um, there were some pictures that were posted by a, uh, a designer with Google, uh, with Google Glass. Um, she posted them on Google+. And they were uh, these... Apparently, Google Glasses, but they look... They're in the style of, you know, a like a Warby Parker pair, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like a... Good looking, like fashionable gla glass that are apparently like functioning, uh, you know, Google Glass. So maybe, maybe they're going to be releasing a normal looking pair uh, if that is an incentive for anyone to start using them. It's not really for me. Yeah. But, um, and do you want to talk the, about who? Oh, the oh model yeah. So, so the model, the model of these Google Glass <laughs> is the alleged mistress of Google founder. Sergey. Yes, and I know we're not we're not a tabloid show here. You we're, know we don't want to go too deep into it, but just know that that, um, that they are hooking up. Yes, <laughs> they are hooking up. He left his wife of six years, and now they are hooking up. But they're probably using this app <laughs> to hook up. Maybe. <laughs> oh, hey, maybe Who they knows? met on Pure. So, yeah. So What's you pure? want to talk about Pure? Okay. So Pure. Okay. They probably didn't meet on Pure because no, it's not out yet. because they met inside Google because they, they both work, work there. But right. Pure is a real. But Pure sex is app. a is a forthcoming sex app. Now it's not in either of the stores yet, but it's in an invitation invitation stage right now. Um, and it's kind of like a Tinder, but taking it a step further. A single-minded. Uh, app that is strictly for having sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and they describe themselves as the quick and safe way to find sex right now. All right. Um, it's not, as we mentioned, not in the App Store yet. It's invitation only. But um, you look through photos of your matches, no nudes, they say, uh, for your profile pic, oh. that is. Oh, really? Um, and then if you both choose each other, you can get connected. And then you can ask for more private pics and stuff like that. So, yeah, dick pics. I don't know. I mean, do you think this is going to work like that? Yeah. I why, why not? I feel like with with these hookup apps, like part of the problem is that they're going to have so many more men sign up for it than women. Yeah, but then, you know, it'll even out eventually. It's like And it, do they filter people? Like do you have to pass a certain threshold of I don't know. Something? I think it's I think it's actually better than Tinder cuz it's kind of like when you when you take your Amazon app into Best Buy and you can, you know, kind of see the the item in person. You know, you get you get some booby pics, you know what to expect. It's not a surprise. I like yeah. this app. All right. Well, if I was single, could, that's what I would do. You can sign up now. I, w I will sign up now. 
I'm <laughs> not single, so I can't do it. Um, all right, but let's move on into. Okay, so we have to address something. All right, everyone else has talked about it. Miley Cyrus twerked. Okay, we did it. Yeah, we right. did it. All right, done. It's she over. twerked on she twerked. on on the MTV VMAs. Uh, terribly, I might add. She wasn't very good at it, and that, that outfit she was wearing—it was like her her butt cheek was trying to escape yeah, from a tire. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't a flattering look. No, it was not flattering at all. <laughs> anyway, but the Oxford Dictionary added twerk, derp, selfie, and phablet to the, to the dictionary. Well, it's the Oxford Dictionary's online, so yeah, it's not online. like these are in the print editions of the dictionary. Right. But they kind of do this every year, and they update it with, like, f sort of words that have entered the le lexicon. Yeah. Um, so others that have, were added, uh, Bitcoin, Cake Pop, uh, double denim, a style of dress in which a denim jacket or a shirt is worn with a similarly uh, huge jeans. Yes, that's, Good look. That's also a Canadian tuxedo. <laughs> yes. Uh, a food baby, which is when you eat like too much and you look yes. like you're pregnant. Um, which and is my me favorite, all the time. My favorite, uh, jorts. Jorts. Oh, man. I, I wrote also a hot song Also a favorite of uh, Josh, who's in the studio right now. Yeah, he's, he's our wondering. cameraman. <laughs> loves jorts. Loves those jorts. <laughs> Love the, yeah. cutting those jean shorts so short. Also, me time was added. But uh, I, because this was added, because so many people were talking about twerking this week, uh, CNN Headline News had Morgan Freeman on to, I, I believe, talk about uh, Now You See Me on Blu-ray. <laughs> uh, but anyway, they used the opportunity to have him read the definition of twerk. So we're going to leave you guys this week with Morgan Freeman reading the dictionary definition of twerk. And if you guys liked what you saw, Leave a comment down below, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I'm Scott. I'm Annie. And have a great, great weekend, but don't you twerk because it's over now. Yes, it's been put to rest. Yes. The word twerking has now been added to the Oxford Dictionary. Here's the definition they gave. To dance to popular music in a sexually provocative manner, involving thrusting hip movements and a low squatting stance. Oh Annie, I'm twerking. Doesn't your head have to be lower than your uh, butt to be twerking? Oh, I can't go that low. Annie, I'm twerking. I'm twerking. <laughs> I'm getting closer to you while I twerk. <laughs>